Hey everyone, today we'll be talking about peat moss. Let's botanize. Like other mosses, peat mosses, or sphagnum, are non-vascular plants. You may be familiar with peat moss from your local nursery, where it's used as a potting medium. And this is because it has a high water holding capacity, which relates to its ecological role in the ecosystem. Sphagnum can retain a lot of water because it has specialized cells that are dead at maturity, which create a matrix of spongy tissue. In fact, peat moss is the foundational plant in a bog ecosystem, where it grows layer upon layer, creating a waterlogged substrate for other bog plants to grow. Because this substrate is permanently waterlogged, it creates an anoxic environment, which decreases nutrient availability and inhibits microbial activity. This lack of microbial activity creates the perfect context for preservation, whether it's archeological finds from thousands of years ago or paleobotanical remains from hundreds of millions of years ago. Interestingly, many coal deposits are thought to have been formed when ancient trees fell into bogs just like these.